so this is the ring of Mr. Jane. Yeah. Okay. Let it dry. I think once it's dry, then do another coat of the engine. Yeah? So how many times did I need to cook? I normally do it three times, yeah? Three times for this agent. Okay, so I so need to be, move, uh, let's say that is that this plate is not been uh, applied on the more release agent. I don't know, the, the clean, the mold cleaner, so before we apply this, this agent, we have to apply the mold cleaner, isn't it? Yeah, you have to so clean is it three times. Three times. Okay. Until the surface is smooth, yeah? Right. Okay. Do you want to apply it last time? No, no, sure, sure. sure. Just take less, otherwise all the release agent will go in your pay tissue paper. Oh, okay. Here. No, not like that. You didn't see what I was doing. Otherwise you don't know because it goes very quickly. So what you do is you start from here. Okay. Then you go slowly down, down. Down, 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 and then all the way around. So by that way, you make sure that everything is done, okay? Okay. So we, we just leave it for a moment to... Right? Until it's dry, yeah. Dry. So any specified time, you know, just... Two, three minutes. Two, three minutes, right. Okay. So now, uh, this bag where it is for. Okay. Then you put the fabric here. There are two ways to do it. What you do is, because there is only five layers, it's okay. We don't need to put mess at the both the side. We can just put it on top. Mess? That mess. The blue color mess. Oh, uh, this one. Oh, the mess. Okay. So, first we fix the fabric here. The mesh, okay. The blue one. So this is the mesh, okay. So basically, it's, it's not too thick, so no need to apply the mesh. On both the sides, just one side is okay. One side is an exception, right. 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 Secure the side. Okay. okay. After that, you put the pin ply. This is the pin ply. Okay. So it should be cover up or maybe maybe let's say that a bit more bigger the the I mean the fiber the fabric is much more bigger than this. Is it possible? No. No. So so this one should be larger than the fabric. Or same size, yeah. Or same size, alright. That's the idea. With the because we are going to put the pill, uh, sorry, mess. Mm -hmm. What mess does is it helps uh, resin to flow, mm -hmm. okay? And if you don't put the pill ply, what will happen is your mess will get stuck with okay. the with your composite, yeah. Right. So, if your pill ply is shorter than your fabric, 
it's okay as far as your mass is not bigger than your pill plug. This is a little bit. Okay, at the moment we run out of this. This is this, yeah? Oh, oh. So if you want to make one tomorrow or in the future. So we have to wait. You have to wait or you have to order it yourself. Like not this big quantity but this small quantity. Okay. You can order it from Easy Composite. Mm -hmm. And then you can keep it with you. I just get this from Hussein. Alright. Okay. Otherwise you couldn't have made any composite today. So Hussein gave you this, Hussein gave you this. Mm -hmm. So this is called pill ply. Mm -hmm. And you need to order it from Easy Composite. Mm -hmm. You have a charge code? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you need to order it from it doesn't cost much. If you order a small piece, mm -hmm. it will cost you 20, 30 pounds. But you need it. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to write it down? What to order and where to order no, it from? No, I, I can't. Oh, Alright, okay, that's fine. Sometimes I'm wasting my time. Yeah, that's all right. I thought. Yeah. Then, yes. I, know, I know about easy composite, yeah. You know about it? Yeah, yeah. They yeah, supply a whole lot of resin. It's quite famous here. I think yeah. a lot of UST using it. You want me to cut it for you? This is an example. Yeah. Normally, uh, when you do your composite, you need to measure everything. So, you know, I'm not measuring it because it's just for training. Measure for... Uh, uh, so, you, you, you measure it according to the size of... So, this should be like as big as your fabric. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. As big as my fabric, right? So, it should be... So by the way, how about the resin? So is it, is it possible that I'm... So resin is, is already here. Uh, because I saw so I, so the email that it is low in volume. <laughs> when did they send you the email? Last two weeks. Who is it? I think it did. Who's, who sent you an email? And, and the, Tracy or Ella, I can't remember. So he said that there's a... Yeah, no, that is resin infusion. The resin infusion pipe is running low. That's what they say. The tube. Okay, then you secure this as well. Once this is secured, then this is takey tape here, it sticks on both the sides. So, takey tape. Take, take, take. Have you got a vacuum valve? Vacuum valve? You don't have it, do you? No. Okay. So 
So it must be cross, isn't it? If you go in my office, you know the mind who sits next to me, uh -huh. ask him, does he have a vacuum valve? Because last time Neha borrowed it from us. If he says he's still, if he's still with uh, Neha, uh -huh. then go and ask me. Uh -huh. But we need a vacuum valve, otherwise we won't be able to do any vacuum. Vacuum valve. Vacuum valve, yeah. yeah. to get the vacuum box. Hmm? It's with Neha. I cannot find Neha. She's not she's not at the table. This is spiral tube. Spiral tube. For and this is infusion tube, yeah? Alright. You need both of them. So you need to have one inlet and one outlet. So this is an inlet, okay? Your inlet should always be on or touching the mass. You know this mass? Mm -hmm. Your inlet should be touching the mass, mm -hmm. okay? Because as soon as the resin, you want resin to flow into the mass and into your composite slag, okay. into your fabric. So my end said is with Neha, right? My end? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might say it is with Neha. Because I remember Neha came once and she took it from us. Hmm.
okay so that's the inlet yeah mm -hmm. same thing with outlet but your outlet should not touch the mesh okay right. okay if, if if your outlet is touching the mesh then what will happen your resin will flow into the mesh and it will go straight to outlet you don't want that oh what you want is you want your resin to flow down as well okay mm -hmm. not just the top layer you want your resin to go down for three or four layers is okay but if you have more layers mm -hmm. then it will mm -hmm. be difficult if you have outlet here mm -hmm. then your panel won't infuse your fabric won't infuse properly okay okay so just leave it one or two inches far from Is it important to seal it, the tip over here? No. No. It's not important, but you don't want it to move. Okay. You don't want this to come here right. when you apply the vacuum. So it's better if you seal it, but it's, it's not important. Mm. Okay, so that's... This is inlet, this is outlet. Yeah. Like I said, your inlet should always be touching mass because mm -hmm. you want resin to flow through mass, and your outlet should not be touching the mass because mm -hmm. if it's touching the mass, your panel won't infuse properly. Okay, now this is almost done, so you need a So this is a bad film. film yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. Whenever you do things, uh, just check. Some like you know, you might not need to cut the big roll because sometimes it's already. Mm -hmm. Sometimes might have just left it. Size you need on the side. Okay. Start on the side. Start on this side.
make sure there are no creases. If there is a creases, then what will happen is uh, decrease. It grease. Grease. All right. Okay. Oil or anything. Otherwise, it it should, there shouldn't be. See, like this. Mm -hmm. So why? Because if you see, there is some extra here. Okay. Because oh. Of this. So when on when you do the last bit, you have to adjust it. So this is called adjustment. You have to do the adjustment here. Yeah? Hmm. Some people do it perfectly, and they don't have to do adjustment. And some people, hmm. I always have to do adjustment because it's. That's it. Now, you need two Hoffman clips, which I can give you today, but you need to get it from meal store. Okay. It's called Hoffman. It's, uh, if you have four to six layers here. Was your meeting yesterday good? Yeah, it's great. It lasted very long. <laughs> A lot of discussion. Yeah. One hour? I was waiting outside. One yeah. hour and 15 minutes, I think. Is it? I think one hour. I was waiting 15 minutes outside. Mm. Then I just said, oh, somebody's waiting for me. No, I did not know that. That is your turn. <laughs> yes, good, it's good. In the beginning of the PhD. Yeah. Okay, so we need to see what this. Yeah, in the beginning of the PhD, we need to have like. Man, uh, a school meeting is appropriate, right? Because, you know, you know, uh, basically, uh, I do not know what my research heading for. Yeah. yeah. So I need to clear in my mind what what, yeah, what you are supposed to do. Yeah, what I supposed to do, what should I learn? Mm -hmm. You know. When when I watch you doing that the first lay up, you know, with the the Chinese 
So I don't have any project at the moment. Mm-hmm. So I just asked after, can I have a look if somebody uses the Zen Fusion? Mm-hmm. So I just came <laughs> to see you. So. So see this mm-hmm. Hoffman clip was like this. Okay. You put it underneath there, and it won't. It mm-hmm. will not allow any air to go through, right? All right. So now this is done. Now we need to apply the vacuum, right? Okay. So when you apply the vacuum. Oh, okay. You're using this Z here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, not the, 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 the portable one. Alright. What do you mean the portable one? I saw that Neha using that, the portable. You're for the gazing also. And the gazing? Yeah. Yeah, you can use that. There is, if the so, she said that if I'm using that one, that portable, I don't no need to use uh, this. Vacuum valve? Yeah. But then you need to degas it now anyway. For yeah. degassing you need, uh, sorry, for vacuum you need that. Okay. To vacuum it. It's okay. Alright, so I, I know that. You can use the portable one, that's fine. Uh. But that is for infusion. But to vacuum. Oh, to, infusion, okay. To put the vacuum you need to use this anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we need to switch this on. I'll show you how to switch it on. So first press the red button. Twice. Once. Once. And then. So you need to press it. Press it. So you need to make sure. You need to make sure there is no air going in. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is that what Neha said that you don't need this? Sorry. What did Neha say? You don't need this. You don't need this. Is that what she said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what did you say? I need it. Mm. I just said that. Uh, can you want it? <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. And then what did you say? She said that. Oh, you don't need. You don't need that one. If you use the portable. But I'm not sure. But it's okay. Okay, now you, this is what you was asking that how long does it take, yeah? Yep. So if this is perfect, which I don't think it is, then this is done. So it's less than two minutes, yeah? Less than two minutes, alright. But we will only know when we put this in. Oh, the, the pressure. To measure the pressure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got a pen? Hey. Oh my God. I don't have it. I need to. So it will shut it off. It shut off itself after two minutes. Yeah, two or oh, three after minutes. after two two minutes, it will shut off. Minutes, All right. Yeah. Not because the. No no, no no no. All right. So now you can check. You can put this on. This is a outlet. Vacuum. So see, the vacuum is going to one bar presser. Mm-hmm. And now air is going. That means there is a leak here. Oh, okay. Okay. So first thing you check is whether there is a leak here. So you close this. Mm-hmm. And you will see there is a leak here. Because the leak is not coming from here. But le- so try. I think this, this connector. This connector might be causing a leak. Mm-hmm. So you do this. And see it stopped. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as you can see there was a leak in the connector. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now it's not going up. Yeah. Okay. So now you let it go. 
So we need to vacuum it back again because it's. That's fine, but first you need to see whether there is a leak in here or not. Mm -hmm. So it's not going up now. So this might be okay. Okay. So your question was, do we need to vacuum it again? Yeah. We can just vacuum it. Just go and switch that on. Not for long. Yeah. this now okay now you leave it like this for 15 20 minutes and if that doesn't move that means it's ready to be infused yeah mm -hmm. because you don't want to lose moisture okay. if moisture is not a problem then I normally leave it overnight yeah, right. to see whether there is any leak or not yeah? yeah but in your case because you can't leave it overnight because of your moisture retention yes then you need to make sure for 15 20 minutes yeah. that, so that everything because is sometimes secure. what happens is uh, there is small leak here mm -hmm. which doesn't uh, get uh, which doesn't get air straight away but after four or three minutes yes. because there is only a small leak then air builds up and then it goes here and then it shows after mm -hmm. five ten minutes so you should at least wait like 15 minutes 15, 15 minutes 20 yeah. minutes that so that's the idea sure. all right yeah. okay Okay. So that is done. So now it's ready to be infused. So mm -hmm. what you need to do is, if you want to use the portable one, okay, you can use portable one, or you can use the this one, other one. Yeah. You you can't infuse it in this room. You have to oh, infuse okay, it outside, okay, right? Okay, okay, all right. This is only a layer. Layer. Mm -hmm. No resin is allowed in this room. Mm -hmm. Okay. No fabric. You can't cut the fabric here. Mm -hmm. You have to cut your fabric outside, outside. and then come mm -hmm. here. After you finish your vacuum bagging, after you take this plate, you have to uh, vacuum it to make sure that you don't leave anything on the table, yeah? The reason is because people work with different, different projects and self work with the project and you don't want to contaminate anything. Hmm, yeah, okay. Okay, so is the... Is Using the cut, so, so you have this mention here. You need to get this stock from the store, yeah? Alright. Oh, this one from the store, okay, okay. So it's not supplied by... Yeah. Nothing is supplied <laughs> because you know, this one I don't know because we lost. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Some place you have to buy your own. Yeah, that's right. So this is the this is epoxy. Yeah. So so I need to so I need to put set here. Make sure you don't spill too many things. Eh? If you spill it, you need to clean it straight away. All right. So. Uh, no, put it in this glass. This is the epoxy, right? Yeah, okay, this is the epoxy. This is turning on. Oh no. Is it any? I'm not sure, just try, yes. try it. So, how much? Uh, 200. Thank you. 
But next time, you need, when you do your properly, I think it's like a it be separate. Regular batch, you need is is different. When you do your regular batch, you need to be mix. You need to be sure that you do it in two separate classes and then mix it. Okay. So you st stay out. Properly, right? Is it any recommendation how long that should five I stir? Five to ten minutes. And you need to mix it from the bottom. If you don't do that, from the bottom meaning, don't just mix it on top. Oh, top. Mix oh, make sure bottom. that it is rich bottom. All right, okay. Yeah. Get a tissue, please. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. And this 
oven was already at high temperature. So okay. if the temperature is high, it will degas quickly. Uh huh. But it will start the reaction. So it's, it caused either by a long delay between mixing and infusion, or it is caused because they heat the resin and hardener before the infusion. So what happened? Ah, uh, yeah, I think it might be answer what happened during the the procedure. So uh, they let they let it degas this quick after the degas they leave it for one hour and then come back and do their job and do their basic efficient. Yeah, so you have to leave it for one hour anyway. Is it? Any guessing? But uh, that one, I said more than four or five hours it will cause a problem. Yeah. So what during within two hours? It should be fine, right? Well, so yeah, I, I do not know. I do not know what happened, but possibly what you say about temperature it might be the stone might be heated. Yeah. Yeah. So this case. So I need to be careful not to spill it out, right? Make sure this touches at the bottom. Okay. okay. Inlet. So, so this is secure. So I will just inside, inside yeah. here. Yeah. And then, then shallow tape it. Okay. Make sure Secure. Yeah, like okay, secure. Okay. Now you need to start the screen. Just take away pull. This is here. You don't need it? You got two, right? We only need one. Okay, alright. You need two of these. Here. So leave that uh, okay. then open this. Mm -hmm. And you see the resin starts flowing, okay? Okay. So, oh, this is above here, right? So, just okay. drawing the vacuum from here oh. and raising it going from here. And now, because it's touching to the mass, it will flow fast, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you can use this to control the rate. So How fast do you want it to go, mm -hmm. right? Is it? If you have more layers, you want it to go slower, right? More layers, slower, right? Okay. Because there's only five layers, it's okay if it goes a little bit faster. <laughs> okay. Because if it goes fast, it will only go on the top layers, right? Mm. It won't go this way. It will go parallel. So this is... Now, watch what will happen when it comes here. Because there is no mass, it will slow down. You have to keep an eye on it because you didn't make it touch. Even though I told you, make sure this touches at the bottom. Touch, make it touch. This this should not come out. So, if if the inlet comes out, then what is going to happen is it's going to take air. Yeah, yeah. We don't want air to go in. Mm -hmm. When you do your real panel, it should be slower because you will have 8 layers, right? Mm. You can control the rate from here. If you stop this here, then it will go slow, right? Okay. 
if you think it's going too slow because you can't go too slow if you take too long that the raising will jump. Yeah, yeah. So you need to control it, but there is no particular time, isn't it? Right. Time. You just have to experience. You know, experience based on your experience. You just have to use your experience from yeah. your different panels. So I've been told that although it is quite slow, uh, fast at the at the upper, but the lower part between the laminates, it slows. So although that is already here, but the at the upper, at the inside is not still not. Uh, and that is why you leave a gap here, because right. you will see when when it reaches here, uh -huh. it will be very slow. It's not moving but right. The resin is going anyway, mm. so where resin is going is is going between the laminates, mm. yeah. Right. At the moment, because of the mass, is going straight on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to leave it this one, this one, a certain amount of distance so that the uh, the, the resin does not flow back to the to this tube. All right. So this is what happened. Anyway, yeah? Alright, so so when you when you make then your the actual, is here, which is here, which is here, all this right. resin which is here, so then you, you can stop it. Yeah? Right. You will see tomorrow mm -hmm. the resin will flow and it will go there anyway because there is so much resin here. Mm -hmm. When we put it for curing, it will still flow and this pipe will be full tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But when you do it actually and when you have eight layers, make sure you make resin to flow up to the outlet. Mm -hmm. Not to fill outlet, if it goes just up to the outlet, that should be fine, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now what you do is, uh, you close the inlet, so the reason doesn't flow anymore. Okay, close the inlet and then stop the machine? Not yet. Yeah, you can stop the machine. All right. Because you don't want to put this in the oven, mm, you have to cut. If you put this in the oven, then next time you have to make it all on your own, and which is very difficult, yeah. Oh, all right. So I got the another one. So tomorrow you have to give me one and two back, yeah. Ah, okay, I'll give you back. If you lose it, <laughs> yeah, we like. then you are finished. <laughs> I will take the new one and the stuff. <laughs> if you lose this, you will be finished tomorrow. No worries. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe somebody. Your PhD did. is finished. <laughs> yeah? Please don't say it. <laughs> okay, then you can take this out. Okay.
So uh, basically, um, so what happened to the? Okay, I will remove this yeah. from this. Okay, put it set here. So what happened to this? Just leave, leave it there. Leave it there until right? it cures. And then, then you can throw it away. Yeah, put your name on it. Oh, okay. So people know that you have to throw it. Now we need to go and get a pen. Okay. Unless there is a pen there. There is a pen. Don't put my name, yeah? <laughs> uh, why? No, no, here, here, here. Another mistake. When you take it out, you have to clean it. You can't leave it like that. Okay. Clean it straight away when you take it out like this. Oh. Okay. And clean this. Once you clean it, just close it if in case <coughs> you don't want any squeezes. So why why this is bubbles no? Yeah, the air's gone in from somewhere. Meaning that? Meaning there was some leak somewhere. You know while you was bringing it here. Okay. But it's all right. It's just uh, learning. So this this is mean there's a leak. There's a leak somewhere. Yeah. Okay. That's terrible. It shouldn't be like that, but. There wasn't any leak inside, so we just made a leak somewhere here. See? And there's some bubbles going. Mm hmm. From here. You can take that bubble out if you. No, we take the pump out, so it should be fine now. Mm hmm. But if you connect it to the pump again, this will all go. It's fine, it's not going to make any difference because this is just your... Yeah, it's training, yeah, it's training. Training, yeah? Yeah, but the sample... But if you see anything like this, uh -huh. you need to make sure that uh, this shouldn't be like this. I think I didn't close one of the valve properly. That might cause it. You never know why this happened. Yeah, now we need to put this in the oven. Okay? Mm -hmm. For curing. 